What is up, guys? This is Justin, a.k.a. FMDG, and I'm here with episode number 36, American Hitchhiker. Um, not much has happened since we had our last episode. In fact, nothing's happened. I saved the game and recording now. So let's get into summer transfer fun. All right, guys, welcome back. Um, this is exactly where we left it. Actually, this is exactly where we left it. Um, yeah, so let's look at the best 11 we've had. Um, pretty much the team now with some names that we've probably never heard of because they were here and gone before we showed up. But our overall best 11, I mean, we have Tapia, our goalie. We have Perez. Um, Leonard was here. Chin, Valdez. Bartley, Garza. I'm curious who this Walton fellow is. He's been gone for a couple of years, played 64 games. He played two years. Not too bad. I mean, 6'6, six, 6'7. Six, six, That's not uh, gangbusters. Um, Wallen, Wallen. What'd he do? Center back. Oof, man. Must have been slim. Got promoted this year, and he was one of the best with a six five six. It's not good. Like I'm curious what Perez is sitting at. Six eight six. Since we came around, I mean, we're just better, I guess. Uh, Sonis, I don't know him. Okay, he was their last year decent player. Okay. Um, end of season awards. Player of the season, Venegas. That's interesting. Um, what was his average rating this year? 721. Okay. A bad off a trial list. You know, good manager right here. All right here. Everything. Um, not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, Chen coming in 23%. Greenspan 19%. Chris Thomas with the goal of the season. And that was the goal from the last game. Um, interesting. We'll watch it again here because I know you guys want to watch it one more time. Chen takes it up the, uh, the left side. Cuts inside. Looks at Thomas. Thomas just drills it top left corner. Put Madison up 2 nothing in that match. And that's how that match ended. Uh, Chin was our young player of the year. Signing of the season was Greenspan. 78000 from Louisville. Worth one hundred and twenty-five. dollars um, 31 years old. Contract for one more season. Probably let him leave after that. Uh, season review. Pink Flamingos uh, surprise. Constantly define expectations. Nice. Nice. We lost in the third round of the FA Cup. Um, finished 10th. And then League Cup lost in the second round. And we did have pretty good go there. And then let it go and just sort of coasted into 10th all season. <clears throat> really good with the attendance. 96% full. I'm proud of that. Um, match and best match, worst matches were four days apart, beginning of the season. Okay, budgets. We had about six thousand, six hundred thousand of uh, transfer budget left. Um, I can't remember wage budget. I, can't, I don't want to go look at it. All right, thirty-six thousand and one point six nine million of transfer. So we are about seven grand under the payroll, and how much of that can we? Can't do anything. Oh, we gotta do other things first. <clears throat> Club vision and expectations meeting. Uh, most of set pieces, high tempo pressing, soccer. Does it say football? If I don't put American in here, like. I have general manager instead of director of football. Does it switch out soccer for football? Um, work within payroll budget. We're good with that. 
uh, finish mid table next season and want two top half finishes or work towards it and then get it in the end of season uh, the fourth season I guess after this I mean we did that this year we finished mid table top half so um, high tempo pressing soccer I'm going to negotiate that for more attacking. I'm going to get rid of that. I am going to add. I'm going to add to this. Undo. Okay, I can't undo it. But let's see if we can add to it. Hey, you know, I don't want that. I don't want that. I want to play more attacking. I, I just can't do that. That's that. Well, let's see. Really want that high tempo pressing. I wanted to... I play high tempo, not so much pressing. See if I can get rid of it one more time. Okay, we'll just stick with it. Um, Not to worry about that. Oh, what did that say? Oh, it didn't... Uh, same thing about those two cups. Uh, squad dynamics, uh, team leaders Garza and Chen, influential players Bartley, Tapia, Cohen, Sandoval, Vanegas, Greenspan. I believe Garza is on. That's cool. Don't worry about that. I just won't click that. Um, I do believe Garza is under contract for another now two years. Chen as well, one year. So hopefully carry this over into next year. End of season team meeting. Um, they want us to finish mid table. I guess we'll go for that. Um, go for this uh, long season, good break. I don't want to say anything about relegation. We're not doing that. Mid table, good, 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 good. Injury report. <clears throat> Okay, now let's see about the finances, if I can move some of that around. So I can get up to the whole 68 grand. Okay, interesting. Okay, let me come back um, once we get some more going with uh, transfers and scouting and s such as that. All right, guys, welcome back. It's June 1st. Um, not much has gone on. Uh, some transfers. These two guys are already here. Um, future arrangements. Uh, we did bring in a new goalkeeper, Paul Ayala, um, out of L.A. He is a three-and-a-half star potential, or current five-star potential. Better than Tapia. Um, Tapia was awesome, but he just had moments where I wasn't really happy with his decision-making. So we're going to bring in some competition, see what happens. Um, Mc McNaughton, Lewis, Lucas McNaughton, came in as a... Center mid, sorry, center back. Um, older, but um, I like what he had. Uh, aggression a little bit, but, you know, he's got decent stats for everything else. Strength could be up a little bit, but um, I don't know, something about him I just liked. We're bringing him in. Salinas, we're going to, excuse me, going to bring him back in on loan from Minnesota. Uh, Jimenez we got, this guy we got for a steal. Um, what did we end up paying for him? Uh, I thought we had more. Can't remember. Um, basically nothing it cost us to get him. Um, so he is going to come in. Um, Give us a little bit of depth in the center back role. Also can play a little right right back. Um, yeah, I mean, he's three three stars right now. Potential four and a half. So, I mean, can't hurt considering cost nothing. Um, Jordan Stewart, uh, we've made a request for. And Salazar, we've made a loan request for as well. What does it say? Yeah, we made uh, made that that look different down below. Salary contribution. Or oh, they already accepted this offer. Hmm, curious. 
um, out. We don't have, I don't think anyone coming out. Um, we did make an offer. Let's see here. To, um, who is it? Venegas, even though he's old, um, not that many stars. Uh, I just like having him around. He's been a real, one of our better, I mean, he won player of the year, you know, with 7-2-1 average. Um, I just like the way he plays, so I'm going to bring him on. Um, another thing I did is applied for some jobs. Um, I applied for Cruz Azul job in Mexico. It's a, that's one of the bigger clubs in Mexico. Um, so, you know, they've got three and a half star re reputation, um, rich. They have good finances. I've always wanted to do a Mexico save. Um, so this kind of checks off a lot of those boxes. I also applied for the Red Bulls. New York Red Bulls. Um, they're down in the championship as well, but as you can see, they have a huge payroll budget. You know, I'm at 30, there are 30,000, they're at 720,000. Um, huge uh, transfer budget. I have just over a million, they have just under a hundred million. So, um, way better reputation, way better facilities. I mean, this is basically a Premier League club in the championship. So, I did apply for them. And I applied for LA Galaxy and Philadelphia Union. Duh. I mean, they're Premier League sides. Um, so, I don't know. I haven't heard anything. It's been about a week. So, I don't know. We'll see. Um, also, in the playoffs, Portland Timbers were the team that got promoted. Phoenix losing. <laughs> I had a hand in this. Phoenix losing to us really hosed them. They would have been uh, promoted if they would have beat us or even drawn against us uh, with a goal differential. But um, sorry, Phoenix, I love you guys. You're my local team, but I'm going to hang out with Madison for another year. Okay, um, let's come back with some more exciting stuff happens. All right, guys, uh, only about a week has gone by. It is June the 9th, but the transfer window has opened, so we I wanted to show you guys kind of these things here. See what the fans think of the new signings. Camacho, B minus. Ayala, B minus. McNaughton, McNaughton, a C. Um, we'll have these guys welcome them in real quick. Yep, yep. Um. Campbell is a center back that I found um, through scouter or scouter scouting. Um, need him since Salinas will not be coming back. He has uh, turned down uh, options to hang out with us some more. So, uh, yeah, we won't be having Salinas back. So, I needed to find a replacement for him. Um, might look at bringing Keeping Pancho as well. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, Campbell will be coming in to join us. Ooh, Tristan Perez. Hmm. There was some talk about maybe losing him. Didn't realize they were going to come at him for this much money, though. He's under salary for another year. My best left back. I do need to strengthen that. Okay, yeah. Let's see if I can offer him. So what's he making currently? three years he's making 600 and some Let's see if we can rise that up put a yearly clause on there 825 once two years
But hopefully that gets those guys off my back. Reject. Reject. I don't know. We'll see. Did I do something dumb? I don't know. We'll see. Uh, let's see what else happens in the transfer window here. Let's go. Do need to look at left backs if we do lose him. Okay, Campbell's here. Please welcome him, team leader. Center back, decent. I did scout the entire Canadian um, under 23s, under 22s. Thinking they might have some good talent kind of floating around in there that wasn't really thinking of. Get an effort for this guy. I think I made a play for him. Well, turned me down. There was someone who wanted like 12 grand a week. And I'm like, bro. I can afford 39 grand the whole for the whole thing. Okay, let's uh, pause it there and come back uh, probably towards the end or if something else exciting happens. Well, it was a bit of a stretch, but yeah, not be heading to Mexico, at least for Cruz Azul. Um, just want to share that with you as well. Um, got a big offer for Perez. 800,000 turned it down um I can't find another left back so he's my left back so I may have done a dumb thing but okay come back in a minute all right guys welcome back um as you can see here Philadelphia Union have come to me um offered me a contract and I asked them to delay uh Fourteen thousand dollars a week. I'm currently making one thousand two hundred dollars a week. So kind of a big deal. Um, great finances, great budget, payroll budget. I mean, this this is killer right here. Um, how did they finish in the league last year? Uh, where are we? So there is no Champions League football. Um, which would be cool. They are three star reputation, which is cool as well. Um, I do have two other interviews I did for New York uh Red Bulls and LA Galaxy. Um honestly, I feel like Union is third place in those in teams I'd want to do. Uh Red Bulls, even though they're a championship side club. Uh, they have a lot of money to throw around, um, and they have the same reputation as Philly does. So, uh, kind of debating that. Um, but, so I asked them for a delay. They said yes. And then these happened. Um, yeah. Red Bulls. Um, double my salary plus hundred and eleven million dollar transfer budget, seven hundred and fifty k payroll budget. Um, three star. I mean that is huge. Just stupid huge, right? I look at their roster. I mean they don't have any. They have anyone. Due to expire in contract, they have three guys expiring contracts, all loanies. Um, I don't know this one. My top two. Um, I'm torn. Hundred and eleven million to spend. I mean that is a boatload of money. Boatload of money. Um, decent facilities. Um, but you're not the only club. I like Galaxy. Now, okay, first off, you see here, you see me pointing the screen, but you can't see where I'm pointing. Um, 
youth system, play attacking soccer, win promotion. Uh, right now they're favored to come in second, which is good enough for promotion to the championship. Um, LA Galaxy, they want me to win it. That's kind of a big deal. Um, it's a very big deal. This transfer budget is a little bit lower. Um, 16, almost 17 million. Payroll budget's about the same. We'll go in and look at them. Um, they're almost at their salary max, so there's not a lot to play with, but they do have Josh Sargent playing with them, um, which is cool. So, I mean, that's someone we can build around playing up, up front. He's only 24 years old, um, enjoying that. Carlos Guzman, the captain, right back, center back, um, looks good. The concentration at uh, 16, determination 14, um, good pace, good stamina. Um, Carl Gibson is their uh, key player on attacking uh, left side. Agility. Oh, man, this is some good stats. Um, attacking. Let's see. Right foot, inverted winger, support. I mean, look at these stats. He's got some good pace. Agility, though. Oh, my gosh, that's got me excited. Crossing. Uh, okay. Uh, dribbling's really good. Ah, this this kid looks good. Only 20 years old, too. Another two years under contract. Sergeant uh, under contract for four years, so I got him for a while. Guzman, two years under contract. Hot prospect, this kid, 21 years old. Um, eh. Eh. Okay. That's cool. I thought it was going to show me. Attacking roles. Uh, let's say he is an advanced forward on attack. I mean, he's got some good pace potentially. 11 to 7. I mean, it's quite a range. Um, one player that I noticed in here is DeAndre Yedlin. Um, always been a big fan of his. 30 years old, though. But that pace on the wing. He can do some fun stuff. I don't know. Um, and because of their fourth play or third place finish last year um, in the league, they will be playing Champions League football. Um, I mean, that's cool. Champions League last year, they went into the quarterfinals. Oh, that's <laughs> different LA dummy. They went in the quarterfinals um, last year. Uh, let's see, get into the tree. They lost to Crosstown Rivals. I don't know, LA Galaxy seems like a fun time. Um, let me know what you guys think, although I'm going to make a decision now. Um, what would you guys do? Would you go with Philly, um, New York, and the league below with a bunch of money? I also look to see if they had a tycoon takeover. They don't. It's just they're just tossing money around. Oh, you know, let me look at any can I see sponsorship stuff? I don't know if I can see that in here. Yeah, I don't think I can. Um, okay, just curious. I mean, the goal of this is to progress my career um, you know had a great time at Detroit good time at Ford Madison only a year but LA Galaxy comes calling I mean what do you do that's that's insane I think I'm going to take the job LA Galaxy 14 million a year I mean New York Red Bulls that would be a little interesting but they're only 2.6 million a year um, at 111 though, that's nuts. And the fact they're only using half of their budget for payroll right now is crazy. But 
you know, to be the best, you got to be the best, right? At 12 grand in salary. Everyone looks here to be signed. And no one is, uh, no one's, I'm not losing anyone off this team. <sighs> Do this. Give me some more money. 15? I'll, t I'll take 14. Hell, I'd take 13. Okay. I'm going to do this, aren't I? Going to do this. The training, the reputation, this is just. Mm. Right, let's see where Madison is. Um, I'm sad. Uh, Bartley came and they came, an offer came in for him. I rejected it. His ball rejected a loan move. Oof. <laughs> Whoops. Um, Tommy Thompson's was gonna he's gonna be coming in. Uh, got a contract offer out to him. He plays all over the right. I'm excited about that guy. Let's never be able to see him. Um. Yeah. Yeah. See, these are all the guys we brought in. I really think Madison's in a good spot. Ford Madison is in a good spot. But. I'm doing this. LA Galaxy Club Three. <sighs> we gotta win the league. That's pressure. That is some pressure. Detroit City FC icon. Mm, that feels good. All right. Training ground, great training ground, great youth facilities. I mean, Champions League too. That's some cool stuff. And this this team, we can do some cool things with this team. Um, all right. And with that, we will end it. Wow. Okay. Thank you guys so much. That was episode number 36 of the American Hitchhiker. Um, new club, LA Galaxy. That's a big deal. I'm excited about that. A little freaked out. Um, a little freaked out, but I don't know. We'll, we'll make it work. Um, I'll go through the preseason here, try to figure out what we're doing, um, and uh, bring you back for the first uh, couple games. If you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button down below uh you know this this is a cool video i hope you guys like it um hopefully it didn't go on too long i don't actually think it did um but like uh comment tell me if you think i made a good move i'm i was actually torn to take that new york job in the championship that money though that was just crazy um but thank you guys so much i appreciate it have a great rest of your day